hard land. You can see the left, left hand corner there at the, the access. It's uh, according to the developers, it's about 80% complete. I feel like it's kind of like a Legend of Zelda type game, uh, which is, except for it's very open ended. So, like a Legend of Zelda game, you sort of direct it out quest you're supposed to do or go through a certain area and go on to the next. And I mean the, it's pretty good size. You can kinda of look at my map here and see what I've got covered up down here in the, the bottom but I haven't really covered that much of this map. And I've been to one other one which is more of a like I know I'm sort of in the desert now but just kind of on the shore. But the other map that I went to was actually a straight desert with the cactus and things like that. But, uh, so it's sort of Legend of Zelda feel, it's an open-ended game, there's no direct quest you're assigned it to do. Uh, you, I think you're supposed to go meet the king of Hardland at some point, but other than that, like, let's just go off and do what you want to do, explore. Uh, there are dungeons, there's, uh, you know, the cities, there's a lot of, like, you see how tiny this house is, it's funny, if you go inside, I'll show you the inside, it's kind of ridiculous, it's like a one of those weird things. You see, it's much larger on the inside than it is outside. I didn't know that. No. I, uh, my only beef with the game is now, I don't mind that gunshot sound. I don't know why it does that. Every time I go outside the game, I like to come uh, out of a building or some kind. It seems like it does that, but it has to load up the area and sort of all those things. Anyways, um, the game feels sort of empty yet, which again, it's it's not complete, so I don't expect them to have those yet they need to do. Uh, but it just, like I said, has sort of an empty feeling. And a lot of buildings like that one don't have anybody in them. Uh, there's no items to collect inside, there's nothing to do in it, which, you know, I granted not every building should have something in it, but it just, uh, there's not much in a lot of the structures. Uh, even the dungeons are sort of don't have a lot of purpose. Uh, the only, only treasure you can find in the list that I found, I, I've done one dungeon and the other one I tried to go in had so much stuff to be in and was killing me so I didn't get out. But uh, like the treasure boxes you need keys for, the keys are pretty hard to find so far. Like I found a few lying around just in the desert itself and then uh, some are sold by merchants. But the treasure boxes all need a key and it's like, uh, you know, they're consumable so I can use them to get metal with that type. And there's like silver treasure chests, small, large, wooden ones you're going to have to just blow them by shooting them or hitting them. Uh, there's silver treasure chests. Then there are actually some, like, I think it was called a majestic chest that I found that was burning from the inside. I think it a metal cage, but it needed a, a majestic key, which I haven't seen. So uh, a lot of treasure boxes, but everyone that I've opened has just had gold in it, which don't play me wrong, you know, but it's cool. And Merchants sell different things, so you know you need money to to buy interesting things when you come across a merchant to sell something like that. But uh, you know, ultimately, I've got you know like 130,000, and I burned a bunch behind all these silly masks, uh, which are actually really cool items in the game. And what they do is they let you uh, sort of quote unquote tame certain enemy types. Well, these things out here, I've got. Uh, Some of this shit. I'll wear a Goblin King mask. So, oh look, I'm a Goblin King. And you get this staff with each one of them. They all look the same, pretty much. The masks, of course, are different, but they all have the same staff. Which, I wish we did like a casting ability or something, but it doesn't. But when you get close to a Goblin while wearing this mask, it's like he'll be charmed by you. This little green beam will come off the staff, and your guy will say, you know, like, follow me, so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, the guy will start following you around. You can kind of build, like, practically an army of little followers that way and get them to, uh, you know, to sort of do your bidding. But it seems like the enemies in this game are almost kind of on a faction system where it's like uh, certain enemies don't seem to mind each other, the other ones don't like each other. There's some dead guys over there. I'll go over and show you what happens when you wear uh, this is my ghoul mask. Talking about them real quick, they'll uh, they'll become my friends. Yeah, walk with me. He doesn't have a name, so he just does the exclamation point. But some of them have names. They're they're really weird names usually too. 
some magic spells in this game. This, game, this is the most hilarious but useless spell. It is a chicken casting spell. Which as you can see, casts a chicken. And it doesn't do anything. It's just a chicken. Very, very useless. And I've got my uh, golden board bus here. Which kind of fucked this shit up, as you can see. The guns are sort of like self-aiming, like I have a crossbow too, with it, which is nice because it actually functions sort of as a torch, but the crossbow is a, uh, it's an explosive arrow, so I kind of missed there. Yeah. There we go. I mean, it sort of aims itself, you just kind of have to point yourself towards the guy and sort of judge the height at which you think the crossbow is aimed, because you only have third person and you can't really like you know, target a reticle or anything like that, so you can't pick out your targets too well. There's a little town, the village of Frodon. I've not been here before. Uh, all the townspeople are kind of morons. Like, they never have anything useful to talk about for the most part. Yeah, like, ah, I saw a group of whales on the sea. It was exciting. Yeah, great. So, they, they all say stupid shit like that. There are usually... I should say usually, but in some of the towns you'll find merchants and they will actually sell things to you and they're, they're more useful. And then there are some NPCs that are, uh, like you can kind of tell that they'll be more, be more important. Yeah, they, they talk funny. They talk kind of like uh, the characters out of The Sims, like, <laughs> and noises and stuff. But anyways, uh, you'll find more more important looking characters. Like they'll be bigger or they'll have more, you know, kind of unique, unique looking gear and uh, they'll typically give you a quest, or at least have something more important to tell you direction to send you from it. Uh, it's like there's the box, but you really can't take it in the box, probably. You can pick up a lot of stuff, though, and throw it at enemies. Once you go find him, you can choose to let him go or not. 
and I, I let him go. I that I was being nice, and he's like, I'll never do anything bad again. And then I go back to the trading company, and he killed, like, everybody, and I was trying to break into the place. So I had to kill him and stop him, and then, like, gave him his, his mask. He's, it's like a, he was a werewolf, but he gave him his mask for killing him. And, uh, like, the guy that was trying to stop him from getting in had, uh, like, this silver pistol. He was trying to fight the werewolf with silver, which is kind of cool. But I'd like to do that. I've got uh, a fireball spell, which is kind of cool. You seem to get uh, stuff like this just from kind of random drops. Um, like there's certain enemies carried from them. And I found some dead wizards around the first town that had uh, like their spell books still on them that had these in them. It's sort of weird, weird looking thing. I was kind of like a sword that, you know, sort of shaped. But it's hard to aim with. It. It's almost like kind of see, it's like not really a fireball until it lands, and it arcs. People are still running around. Yeah, they're, uh, they're straight up. I don't know if she still is. No. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful around chicken. Those animals are possessed. Yeah. I think the graphics in the game are actually kind of good, and uh, I mean they're, they're cartoony. But as you notice, when you talk to somebody, like the depth of field kicks in, and then it, uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. I did try uh, getting like a reshade to work on it, but the game doesn't support SLI yet, and so I'm running it on one GPU, and it seems like uh, the performance hit is too great when you try to run with reshade. And in addition, uh, it didn't really work that well with it anyway. It, but, uh, it didn't really make much of a difference, so I was too much of Actively dive, which is nice, like you just hit all the move. Oh, he's not dead, he's trying to get off, but he's still running around. There we go, okay. Anyways, you can get yeah. But, like I said, a little, uh, probably a little too early access yet to call it really, uh, I mean, it's obviously playable, but it just seems like there's not a lot of point to it yet. Um, but if you like this kind of game, you know, if you like a third person, Zelda that you like game, you know. I think it even looks a little bit like Link with, you know, different hair color and beard. These ears are looking sort of funny. And, uh, you know, like the standard sword and shield game, you know. It's like, uh, you can't do like a spinning attack like Link would do, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty much like Link. So, uh, anyways, I guess I'll do some more videos of it later when they update it and have more content. I guess they just added, like, the, the fact that it's open world like this is new. Like, they just added that on uh, February 24th, it says that I'm going to have to uh, Prior to that, I think the game was pretty small and linear, so they said that this is a really good advancement. And uh, so obviously it's getting support. It gives them like 15, 20 bucks on Steam, so I, I would say it's worth it if you want to screw around and support the developers and get it finished, because I think it'll be fun when it's completed. Anyways, uh, this has been Usual. Appreciate you watching. If you uh, like this kind of content, click the like button, and or please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.